What do you make of the outfit? <laughs> oh, I won't give any comment at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so we're here with uh, Peter from the Druids Field Archers. Peter, can you just tell us a little bit about your um, new venture at Christy Miller? Yes, um, actually, uh, I was here many years ago uh, when Christy Miller was started in 1974 by myself and a few others that um, were in the area at the time. Um, we've been um, shooting in various uh, venues around the county ever since. Doing now with the archery club at Christy Miller, is this for beginners or this for is, more experienced? Yeah, this is uh, basically um, the idea is to give us some indoor winter practice and to encourage other members of the public to come along and have a go at archery if they've never tried it before. They've always been thinking they might like to have a go. Then it's their opportunity now um, every Wednesday evening between 8 and 9 uh, at the Christy Miller uh, until about the 5th of December. Brilliant, and uh, you don't have to dress like me. Uh, <clears throat> no. <laughs> what do you think of his outfit? Do you, li do you like it? No. <laughs> it's meant to be funny, mate. Well, 5th of October in 1415 was a very important day for us and all our archers in England. It's St Crispin's Day, and there was always a, a famous uh, speech made by Henry V at the Battle of Agincourt. And everybody knows the result of the Battle of Agincourt, mainly down to people and people like myself at the time, and they were the King's archers. Wondering if you can tell us a bit about your get up here. Yeah. Is this traditional archers, this archers dress? The, um, this is actually the sort of clothes that they would have worn um, at the time of the Battle of Agincourt. Um, arrows were supplied um, by the Fletchers in their thousands. These arrows, of course, um, are a smaller version of um, what they would have been like. They are self knots There is cow horn put in the ends of the uh, arrows to strengthen the knots. The fleshings are glued with an animal glue and bound with a twine. And at the far end, we have a sh what we call a short bodkin. And this is the type of arrowhead that would pierce armor in chainmail. What kind of bow is this? What, what, do you, what do we have here? This is an English longbow. Um, it's probably a replica of, of a Victorian bow, not a medi medieval bow. Um, it's made from three different woods. This is Osage. Oh, yeah, you can see that, yeah. This is Greenheart, which used to be made, used for making fishing rods. And this is bamboo. Yeah, how, would, how long would this take to make? Um, a couple of days, I would have thought. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And how many do you tend to make a lot? Do you have a lot of I custom orders? To order. It's only a hobby, really. Yeah. Um, I won't want to do it full time. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>